Hi folks, how are you? It's Maya and today I'm going to be filming uh, unboxing of some things I bought that uh, let's see, one item is uh, something I bought from Hawaii not too long ago um, but I haven't looked at it again since I got home and two items here I bought in Melbourne but one I saw in Hawaii and one I saw a variation of it in Hawaii but I bought it in Melbourne because of the exchange rate uh, so it was better price here and I actually wanted to share a bit about it because there's something weird going on like to me it doesn't make sense and um, I'm not gonna go too much into you know foreign exchange rates and stuff but uh, it is something to note when definitely when you're shopping in a different country make sure that it's worth it um, and you're not ripping yourself off just because you might think it's cheaper overseas so you always want to check so let's see we'll start with the less exciting one and <laughs> so, so you'll notice the thing this is uh, a pair of sunnies and I bought this from Fossil you may have heard of it uh, they do leather goods and stuff um, and I actually didn't realize they even did sunglasses at all uh, in Australia there's they usually do show their leather goods and watches so let's reveal this because I haven't seen it since I got home and um, yeah I'll talk about the price as well so this was about 80 ended up being 80 something about 85 ish Australian dollars so it says 60 USD I'm guessing that's before tax and Hawaii has almost 5% tax on top of that and I don't think these were on sale um, so it ended up being about 85 Australian dollars and I checked it up on the Australian website and this in Australia is 170 dollars which already includes 10% GST so I'm like what so this was a good buy. Okay, so oh, this needs to take off. So these are kind of cat eye sunglasses with a gradient, um, kind of brown with a kind of maybe a pink tinge. So guy loosened up for me a little and that's what they look like so it's a rose gold frame um, yeah it's a matte rose gold and shiny rose gold and kind of like a tortoise shell and so can you guess what these two items are <laughs> it's, it's in theme so yeah, so this was the start. Actually, no, I saw this kind of style first and then I kind of feels like I went crazy and bought a whole bunch of sunglasses. And I'm usually not a sunglass person. I have one that I wear regularly from Kate Spade and now, yeah, it's kind of expanded unexpectedly. So, that's that. So these are quite nice. I'm gonna enjoy these. And I don't think you can, I don't know. Once in a while you can lose it, drop it, ruin it. Um, so it's kind of good to have a variation with sunglasses, I think. A um, mix of maybe inexpensive and more designer. Okay, uh, which one should go there? Okay, I'll leave the um, Chanel till later. <laughs> so, what am I doing over here? Um, got the Gucci. So I bought this in Australia. So I like their Gucci new packaging. I didn't like the one before. Ah. What? Oh. There's a. <laughs> yes, I'm being a little picky, but there's a. It's scratched, so it's quite cut. Something cut into it. What could it be? In here. So I kind of want another box. 
That's the front of the box. <laughs> Ooh. I actually like like yeah, it's kind of vintagey. Um, but oh, I'm being so picky. And then there's a full on scratch. Like, did they give it to me on purpose? I haven't pulled this box out until now. <sighs> okay, calm down. It's alright, I'll leave. So let's unbox this and get to the goodness inside. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. <laughs> okay, so what was nice was I got to choose the color of the box for the sunglasses. And so that kind of style before was kind of standard-ish. This gets interesting. Oh, it's going sustainability kind of colors, hey. Uh, Gucci info booklet. Oh, no. okay. That's that. <laughs> oh, I like this. It's like purple satin with gold foil very regal I'm guessing this belongs to the case mm. so it's like a velvety purple no branding on the outside uh, are the right sunglasses? yes! <laughs> Okay, a little bit weird here. So inside is like a um, satin, green, light, greeny, mustardy lining. And what else? So I've got the cleaning cloth. Nice. I'm not sure if you saw the set shape of the glasses yet, but they are quite funky. Okay, so that's the arms. Can you see the shape? This is the side. There's a Gucci logo. And this is what it looks like. <laughs> I tried these on for fun in the US and um, I actually liked them. <laughs> That's what they look like. How do I look? So they're oversized and they cover my eyebrows by default and um, they're a bit weird and the arms being down low is not as typical um, and the back and there's a gradient in the lens and you can see my camera and yeah I like them because they're different and quirky and my husband was like really confused because I was looking at Gucci a lot and I don't obviously the, the general aesthetic of Gucci I don't like but once in a while I like something from every brand and I'm really surprised I like this and I saw them in the US and they were uh, let's see uh, so in Hawaii they were let me turn this on um, Hey. I'm trying to show you something. They were four fifty USD plus tax, so that would have been an extra almost five percent in Hawaii. Um, but I compared it to the Australian price and the Australian price was cheaper. So this is their website. This is the US website and that's the model with it on. I'll show you the other thing. So four fifty plus tax, depending on where you are. Um, if I let's see, so converted from Australian dollars to USD, four fifty plus up to five percent. It's like at the moment the exchange rate uh, as of late September is um, ends up being about seven, just over seven hundred, seven twenty Australian dollars. 
For these, I bought them in Australia, which already includes 10% GST, goods and services tax, and the total was 570. So there's something going on with the exchange rate, um, where the Aussie dollar versus the Australian dollar, oh, sorry, <laughs> USD versus Aussie dollar, the exchange rate uh, for us kind of sucks at the moment. And it's, I feel like it's not real. It's a bit inflated, but um, I think uh, you go back maybe many years ago, it still would have had been, still would have been value for money to potentially to shop in the US, especially in Hawaii. Um, but not this time. So five seventy, I saved almost two hundred, like a high one something. To get these glasses here instead. And there we go, yes. This case is so big. A big bag to fit. Alright, let's go into the goodie. What is this? Old an oldie but goodie. That's the wrong expression. Okay. So I got this in Australia. Ooh. And as I came back, I noticed that their uh, Chanel is spruiking their sunglasses quite a lot. There's a big campaign going on to promote their sunglasses. Um, okay. So I saw this in the green version, which I'll show you a picture of in a moment. Um, and the lenses were okay, but I didn't like the dark green leather component. Um, so I messaged the SA I have in Melbourne and she had a different colour, which I ended up buying, uh, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, this is cute. Okay, let's get into this. This is my first pair of Chanel sunglasses. Wow. This is the case, it's so light. I'm like, are the glasses in there? Yes, they are. Okay, so this is what the case looks like. This has Chanel embossed. It's raised here. And then there's the back with the quilting. It's kind of like a teardrop. Water drop. Um, actually, before I open this, check this out. <laughs> this is like... The sales associate was saying that you could use this as a coin purse. Um, yeah, you get this bonus thingy. I'll just show you what's in here in a moment. So it's leather, quilted, nice. <laughs> so yeah, it's a good bonus. Um, okay, what have we got? We've got a booklet, cloth, and booklet. Yeah. Okay. So. There's more. Wait for it. So the lenses are brown. The ones I saw were green. Not full long green, but you can still tell it's green. And it actually gradient where it was lighter at the bottom. And there's the kind of classic Chanel chain with leather weave throughout. And it has the Chanel logo and tortoise shell arms. And it is like a champagne gold. And these are the butterfly sunglasses. So Show you what they look like on their own. Hello. So the leather is actually a really dark brown. Um, I think only when you compare it to the black, which I've seen the, the one with the black leather, it, the black on the gold is more obvious. Okay, um, but 
the brown is dark, but you might not realize it's brown. Okay. Anyway, so there's another thing in here. Hello. So this is, I don't know what you call this, sunglass? No. It's like when old people pin these to their glasses and um, they can wear it around their necks so they don't lose it. But obviously this is more Chanel style. So to clip it on for you, some uh, the sales associate was saying that her colleague said you could probably use this as a necklace. So I haven't tried that on, but I will in a moment. So that's what it looks like. So there's a pearl finish, there's a white camellia. Some of them have a black camellia, excuse me. Um, with, and then the CC. And so the leather is really dark brown, which you can't tell, which is nice. It's not an obvious brown. It's like really, really dark. And on this side, there's a little crystal thingy and it says Chanel and there's a burgundy CC heart and another CC so this one looks like with the straps it comes down to here <laughs> and I can wear it obviously like this or properly in old school like this and then oh, what's it look like so it says I'm gonna look at the right thing yep so it says Chanel on this side so it's like this accessory and I actually like things that dangle um, so I'm, I'm embracing that a little bit more, it's a bit more feminine and playful. So what I liked about the green glasses was the gradient. Um, I didn't anticipate the round being so solid. So if I could change it out, I'd make this kind of gradient and that would be perfect. This is what that looks like. So talk about pricing. Um, the Chanel sunglasses were cheaper in Australia and let's see so this is the green one that I saw overseas and I've seen it again in Australia as well at OPSM uh, and sunglass hut in the city so as you can see the gradient and the leather in the chain and this, the arm it's a really dark green, but kind of like forest green. And so this is $1,627 USD. So in Hawaii it would have been another five cent. And then it would have ended up costing maybe 27 odd hundred dollars uh, Australian dollars. But in Australia, the general um, pricing for these, except the polarized ones, uh, was 2170 that's already including tax polarized one uh, I saw the black version with the gray lens and that was uh, another seventy dollars for the polarized lens so there's some other variations I'll quickly show you if I can so it's a black one with a dark gray lens uh, there's my one there's there's like a black black and gray a blue I haven't seen the blue one and there's a burgundy one also so yeah so I saved quite a bit maybe five five to seven hundred Australian dollars by getting them here um, I'll show you another detail 
before I end the video. So the nose pads have CC on them. <laughs> um, it's got not the plastic ones, which is cool actually. I appreciate that. So I was thinking I'll probably wear it sort of like this. What do you think? Do you like them? But yeah, this price difference is kind of ridiculous. Um, but what's cool is you get this right. Um, sorry, my brain's all over the place. He uses a coin purse, but I don't know. I wouldn't want my coins to damage this. So I wonder if I can use this for something else. It may not fit a business card. It might be a little short, but it's cute, hey. And then, actually, before we go, let's try it as a necklace. See what it looks like, eh? Glasses. So. Do do do. Okay. So this is the necklace. You can have Chanel coming down. Hmm. So you want the letters to not be upside down. You can wear it like this. Oh shit. <laughs> you can too wear it as a necklace. How about that? So kind of three in one. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you have any questions. And wow, this was a long video. But yeah, thanks for sticking by, uh, like the video, subscribe for more cool stuff. Bye-bye.